Hey everybody, it's Sean from Uplift Actions and today we're just going to do a really quick tutorial to show you how to use the Sunny Days Sun Flare Overlays. Uh, so first what we're going to do, this is going to be our finished picture here. So first we're going to start um, with this as our beginning photo. So we're going to assume that you've already got the Sun Flare applicator which comes bundled with the 70 Sun Flare Overlays installed in Photoshop. And we're going to head over to our Actions palette here and we're just going to run the Sunflare applicator by hitting that little play button down in the bottom. It's going to tell you to get uh, ready to go navigate and find where you have saved your Sunflare overlays. So we're just going to click continue and I've already got it navigated um, over there to that folder. So you're going to have to choose now what Sunflare you want to apply to your photo. So for this one, I'm going to use, um, there's a really nice one here that has a beautiful bouquet um, to it. So lots of nice uh, balls of uh, dreamy light there. Um, so we're just going to hit place down on the bottom right. And what it's going to do is just drop that onto your photo. So you can grab it by the corner handles here and resize it as needed. It should usually just run at full size, but if it doesn't, then just adjust it to uh, what you need for your image. And then just hit enter or return, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC. So there we go, it's gonna run and do its thing and that's the result. So if we flip over now to the layers palette, you're gonna see here is your sun flare. And then we run a warm haze on top of it that uh, just kind of warms up all the tones. So you can see there if we turn it on and off. Um, so we obviously wanna keep that on for this image. And then over here is your layer mask. This is where you can paint in or out um, the desired effect that you have. So because it's a white layer mask, we're gonna use a black brush. So over here is your palette. Make sure that this is set to black. And then here's your brush. So we're gonna paint in, say at an opacity of around 80%. And obviously we don't want them covered here. So we're gonna, with a nice black brush, just kind of paint out areas where you don't want that sun flare to be. So by doing this here, we're just kind of revealing the couple again and just making it a little bit of a softer effect around them. Um, what you can do, the thing with um, all of these overlays, you don't, you can run it as many times as you want. So what I'm going to do here is just in my little drop down over uh, in my palettes, I'm going to flatten my image so I can run that again. So we're going to go back to our actions, back to our Sunflare applicator and hit play and just repeat the whole action. And what I'm going to do here, because there's so many different types of flares and bursts that you can use, I'm going to look for a really nice sunburst so we can have something just kind of peeking over the uh, trees there in the background. And so you can scroll through, just try to find something that's going to work for what you're looking for. And I think this one here, because it's nice and warm as well. So I'm just going to hit place and there you go. So now if you right mouse click, because I want it to come up on the other side of the mountain, I'm going to right mouse click and you can flip horizontal. So that's just going to flip your sun flare or your burst or whatever you're running here to the other side. And then just hit enter or return again, exactly like we did the first time. And there you go. So I want that to be coming up above the trees. So I'm just going to click back to my layers palette. And just using this um, tool here, we're just going to move up. So make sure you're on the right um, layer here and by hitting command t to transform you can also just go up to image and free transform or apple t to select it you can just move that wherever you want so i just want to move that up over the trees a little bit there so it's just kind of peeking out over and then you just hit enter to apply that transformation back over here we're going to go back to our brush and we're going to repeat that action where we just painted out um, where we didn't want the effect Make sure that you've got your layer mask selected over here because when we transformed it, it uh, grabbed the actual flare image, which the overlay, which we don't want to paint on. So we want to paint here on the white um, layer mask. So I'm just going to paint them out again, just a little bit along the bottom, just to kind of bring them back into focus. And there you go. That is our finished picture. So that's how easy it is to use the Sun Flare um, Sunny Days overlays. Uh, you can get them over at upliftactions.com. So happy editing.